This is how to forget your history. First, build a modest house out of wood and stone, then leave it and travel widely. Bring back resources and curios. Do not ask who they belong to first. You discovered them. Oh, and the people you met along the way, you discovered them too. They didn't know they were there before. Have many children and leave the ones you want rid of in the places you visit. In the forest, across the pond, wrap the people who were there first in blankets and bury them, where they can haunt your foundations and campfire stories. When your children build a house there, steal other people's children to help them. If the journey across the pond makes the stolen children sick, throw them overboard. Remembering is harder if there are no graves. When your neighbours are starving, give generously to charity, but don't stop sneaking into their larder at night. It's fine, you left them that bag of slightly dodgy looking potatoes and a handful of rice. They need to learn self-sufficiency, like you. When your children come home, tell them how kind they were to let other people have their houses back. Ignore the fact that their hands are bruised and bloody from clinging on to their loot until it was ripped from them and they smell of kerosene where they torch the places they left. Instead, tut at how bad the new owners are at making the ashes look presentable. When war comes and blows a hole in your roof, invite your neighbours and their children to help clean up. Tell them they are always welcome, just pop round any time and immediately resent them for taking you at your word. When your least favourite children, the ones you have used as cannon fodder, tell you they have no food, Tell them the new guys took it. The sound of squabbling is a small price to pay to keep patricide at bay. When you are old, comfortable in a house made big and beautiful by the gifts your children have sent back, realise you don't understand the other people in your street. When every relationship you have ever had has been a power play, cooperation will confuse you. Decide that if you are not exploiting them, well, they must be exploiting you. Say it loudly and often so that everyone in the house can hear it. It sounds like termites in the woodwork. Eventually, when the noise has driven everyone to distraction, blame the neighbours. Tell them to piss off. When your children cry for the friends they have made, those who have loved them, held them, call them traitors. Threaten to change the locks. Ignore the fact that the walls are creaking and the people who know about such things think maybe you could use some help because what do experts know? Stand on your white porch with your bunting and your jam and proclaim independence. Forget that you have never had it. The domination is I need you and I fear you. Packed tight and spring-loaded behind a bullet. Fire bullets into the wall. It always worked in the past. And when the things that have held you together gives way. And everything you have built and loved and told yourself you are crumbles into nothing more than a facade. Fight amongst yourselves to rule over the rubble. It will be all you remember how to do.